Hey everybody, how's it going? Today is my time to review this iPhone 5S in late 2022. And so, without further ado, let's get started. This is my iPhone 5S. I have a two unit. Both of these are still fully working without any problem at all. But this one still in good condition while this one, as you can see, it has a minor scratch at the back. Got some dent, especially for the side. Lot of scratch but for the screen still in good condition but don't worry both of these still fully working with no problem at all number one is the big quality of the phone body so let me show you for the material it uses a fully aluminium at the back as well as at the side except this bottom and top one black color it uses the glass same goes to this, but white color. This one is space gray, this one is silver. Alright, for the durability, like I said just now, since it used the aluminium, it doesn't get easy to get the band at all. No band, it's not really easy. Even this phone is quite slim. For me, it's quite slim, you know. As you can see. But for the durability, it's still good. Number two is the user interface or known as UI. So let me show you. This is the lock screen, this is the home screen. Very nice UI. It runs the last version iOS Tef. First thing first, let's go to Seeding, General, Software Update, and this is the last version, the latest version, iOS Tef 5.6. It doesn't get iOS 13 or above. Same goes to the iPhone 6, same version like this 5S. Not bad for the UI. Same goes to this, same version, everything are same, but different wallpaper only. Number three is the performance. So let me show you how's the performance on the home screen. It's still fast, no lag at all. Let's launch the apps. Still fast. The animation is really amazing. Not bad for the performance. So previously I've tried some of the um, mid games, not the heavy games, and it still runs perfectly. Same goes to this. Very fast, no any problem. Very smooth. Number four is the camera. So now let's check out the camera. This is the camera UI. For the real camera, it has a 8 megapixel with dual tone LED flash. And for the selfie, it has 1.2 megapixel without any LED flash at all. So maybe the zoom is 4x, not too sure because it doesn't write on here. Including video support, except for the selfie, it doesn't support. Also in slow motion, very nice. Selfie mode. Not bad for the 1.2 whistle. At the top, we have some setting shortcut. At the below, it goes the camera shutter button at the center, camera mode change at the right side, gallery at the left side. What we have here is the panel, square, photo, video, and special thing is slow motion and time lapse. 
the first ever iPhone with slow motion. The FPS of this slow motion is 120. Very nice. Very smooth. Same goes to this 5S. Everything are same. Also got the slow motion. Very very smooth. So if you want to go to sitting, it doesn't have inside the camera app. What you're going to do is, let's go to sitting. Slide to the down. Find the camera. And this is all of the setting for the camera. You can change the resolution for the recording video. Very nice. Number 5 is the RAM and storage. So it has a 1GB of RAM and it has other option of the storage with same RAM. So both of these has 16GB of storage, 1GB of RAM. For the other option is 16, 32, 64. So it has a 3 option but same RAM. And the last one, number 6, is the color. Which one is your favorite color? So right here, I have a two color, which is the silver and the space gray. Comment down below, which one is your favorite color? And so, before I end this video, you can give your feedback for this iPhone 5S. Review in late 2022 in the comment below. And so that's all for me. Thank you very much. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you on this video. Goodbye and have a nice day.